I'm Ian Medjugorjan, and this, what's your name? Tamara. And where are you from? Uh, Springfield, Illinois. Grew up in Divernon, Illinois. And the first time for you here? Yes. And how so far has the experience been here now? Oh, um, unbelievable. Unbelievable when uh, I'm a convert. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really, I believed in our Blessed Mother, mm -hmm. but didn't pray to her mm -hmm. because that was a foreign concept to me. Mm -hmm. But uh, yesterday I climbed up uh, Apparition Hill mm -hmm. and um, while well, sitting there and meditating, opening my hands up to to receive, mm -hmm. I um, smelled the roses. Wow. It's like she just walked it like she just walked in front of me. Mm -hmm. And it's indescribable the feeling that that was. And then I looked up at the sun and the sun was spinning. It was like the host and it was spinning. And then the lights were across, bright white lights and gold, gold sparks making a cross. And um, I'm a believer. I'll never go again without praying to her. Our Lady, I'm just so happy. I feel so blessed, and I'm so happy that I got to come here. Where I'm on a pilgrimage with my church mm -hmm. from Sarasota, Florida, and this is the best trip of my life. It's drawn me closer to my faith, and I can't wait to tell my family about it. <laughs> it's wonderful. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wonderful. A friend of mine, she's a Protestant, she was here and she said the same thing. She will never forget that. She's uploading pictures on Instagram. Yes. And it's so beautiful to see, you know. I'll, I'll never, never forget it. Mm -hmm. Never. It's, she's she's there and she wants us to pray, pray to her every day. And she's, and, well, what you did in the Protestant church, asking for people for intercession, she's doing only one thing, interceding. She's a role model of our faith in humility, in devotion, in living divine, in the divine will. No? And, and I didn't understand that before, mm -hmm. until this trip. Can you explain a bit your process? That's very important because a lot of Protestant friends are listening, that they understand the Catholic faith, the truth. Explain what I was. Yeah, what you went through, uh, how you came to the Catholic faith, and what changed oh, the perception yes. of the Catholic yes. faith uh, and of Our Lady, for example. From um, I was 10, 11 years old, mm -hmm. and I would walk myself to church. Mm -hmm. Rain, sleet, snow, whatever it was. I'm the oldest of five, mm -hmm. and I would go to Sunday school and then church at the Baptist church, mm -hmm. and I would come home and nobody even knew I was up and out of the house. Mm -hmm. So I always had the calling. Mm -hmm. I felt the calling to God. I, I needed to be fed, mm -hmm. you know? Spiritual food. Spiritual food, mm -hmm. which I realized that later. But <laughs> as a young child, I just always like, I have to go to church. Mm -hmm. And I'm the only one out of seven that ever, ever did that. Mm -hmm. And I'm so thankful. Mm -hmm. and, and then, Met my how, did you, how did you get the idea to go to the church? Somebody told you, your grandmother, your, your mother, who, 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 who told you that there's a church? None of my family ever went. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just had. The, you saw the church. I what just. I just had mm -hmm. the calling. Mm -hmm. In summers, I would go to Bible school, mm -hmm. and I just loved it. I mm -hmm. knew every Bible verse. It was. It but was, that was the a funnest Protestant, time. Protestant, yes. Eh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Went to the Baptist church. Mm -hmm and in our little town, a little mm -hmm. farming community. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I still love that town. And um, so then I met my, my, my boyfriend, which became my husband, and I would go to church mass with him. He's Catholic, mm -hmm. born and raised Catholic. Mm -hmm. uh, I would go to mass with him mm -hmm. on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. And then Sundays I would go to my church. And I just knew when I got married, I wanted a family that went to church together and prayed together. Mm -hmm. So, 
that's where I am. <laughs> and you, so you, you, you became Catholic for because of the wedding I didn't understand that you said no you I became I converted mm -hmm. before we got married mm -hmm. because I wanted to convert mm -hmm. why did you want to convert because I always saw how his family mm -hmm. were together as a family mm -hmm. going to church together mm -hmm. I knew how I grew up and that is not the way I wanted to raise my family mm -hmm. yeah. there was no way I was going to do that mm -hmm. so and did it work out? You prayed together? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then did you hear, okay, but you know, you made a big step, no? Because, like, did, did, in the process, did you believe already everything? Or was that now the people who point maybe up on Apparition Hill to truly let it think in yes. to understand? Or? It was Apparition Hill mm -hmm. that truly changed my thought mm -hmm. about Our Lady. Mm -hmm. What did you think before? I I always felt like I only need to pray to Jesus mm -hmm. to be the Protestant. Yeah. because the Protestant yeah. and I only prayed to Jesus I only had to ask Jesus for forgiveness mm -hmm. I I didn't really understand all the graces mm -hmm. and this trip has totally changed it all changed it all and I, I just feel lucky and blessed mm -hmm. Oh, you touch me. That, it? that, it, oh. that uh -huh. um, this trip has just clicked. Turn the switch. Turn the switch like that, like, like that. that. It's, I'm thankful. Yeah, also going up to Cross Mountain now. Yes, I just got down from Cross Mountain. How was that experience to, to be up there? Oh, that, that was unbelievable too. It, it's uh, it's. Um, quite a hike. <laughs> yes, it is, no? <laughs> yeah, it's quite a hike. Uh -huh. And um, it was wonderful and uplifting and uh -huh. spiritual and everything. This this whole town yeah. is wonderful. And spiritual. Yeah. You there, can no? feel it. You can feel the presence. No, something isn't there. Oh, definitely. 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 It's here. It's, uh, you see Our Lady, somehow she's present. Huh? Yes, yes. Yes, this town is blessed. Yeah. And people have to come experience themselves, I think. You know, you can describe it, but in testimonies it helps people, they write me. Yes, if you have not come, yeah. you need to come, because it will change your life. <laughs> uh, you, you watched the video of a Protestant in Medjugorje, the experience I uploaded two, week, two days, two, three days ago, same experience. She said, it's, it's amazing, Tom, I understand why you live here now, because like my brother asked me, why, why, why are you in the little town, man? We traveled, we were traveling before a lot, you know? Why are you going in rounds in a little town? <laughs> yeah. And the, the Protestant girlfriend said, like, I understand now, Tom, don't go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. And um, did you pay the rosary before? Or, uh, you will start it off now? I yes. Mean, it seems more now. Yes, now. yes, I will now. I will had rosaries, you know, from um, mother-in-law and grandmothers, and but I never really prayed the rosary until this trip because now? I didn't understand it because I didn't even understand the mother. Like I said, I just felt like I only needed to pray to Jesus and God, and that was it. But now I know differently. <laughs> and but why different? What what is so different now? What, can you describe it already, or need oh. time to let it sink in? I am, I just know there's more to our faith mm -hmm. and I didn't know that before. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's definitely going to change my life and I have so much to process. <laughs> yeah, it takes time. It yeah. takes time. Yeah. But it's beautiful that you show the... the, the yeah. The process brought to people that they see what happens in it. You know? Yes. Like, did you go to confession before? Was that easy for you, changing to become a Catholic? Or is that happening? Yeah, that's like another also? thing. Mm -hmm. I've gone to confession, mm -hmm. um, you know, before, but it's been many, many years. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went to confession before I came here. I'm going to go this evening. Mm -hmm. And I now see, too, mm -hmm. how important it is to go to confession. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking once a year. I'm talking every month. Mm -hmm. We need to go to confession. 
Why would you say that now? Because it frees you of, of whatever sin that you have done. It's freed you to, to receive. To, re to receive as much as you can from our, from our Lady and our Lord God. It, it, it frees up your mind, your soul, your heart to receive all the gifts that you can receive. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't know that before, but I know it now. And oh, it's, it's, and so it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing. I can, yeah. I can tell you. you will see. It's, it's, I, I do it often. No, nothing to fear about the priests. You, you met kind priests here. No. Totally wrong what the media is projecting on the Catholic faith. That we are intolerant, we are not intolerant, we are loving, kind people. Yes. We are truly inclusive, but we are not inclusive to sins, meaning that we are against unlove and untruth. That's a sin. People don't understand. Sin is like the Middle Ages, something dark. No, we want to live in truth and love, in the fullness. No? Yes, and the only way to receive that and that is the back. Protestant faith beautiful to have this personal relationship, this prayer life. Yes. But it's getting more rich now, no? I yes. have the feeling, no? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I feel very rich. I see it. Oh, and it's so in the Holy to Spirit. see you to breathe it in, but you just receive it. Yeah. You transmit it, you know? It's like. Um, and what would you tell people when I come to Metanoia then? Oh, to receive so many blessings. Mm -hmm. There's so many. If you're if you're open to receive, you will feel the blessings. Just open the heart, no? Open the heart. Open the heart. And pray and just meditate. Everywhere you go. Sit, pray, and just meditate. Connect to God with light. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? And you will receive it. Yeah. It can be all over the world, not only Medjugorje, going everywhere it can be. Yes, yeah. it, it can. Yeah. But Medjugorje is also just, I know what I've received. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to take it home. Yeah, to show it to all the, you know? Yeah. But you know what I learned, maybe as an advice, just live it. Not by talking, but by example, they will see something yes. happen to you. And you, you know, we change as persons, we change, we arrive more closer to God. You know? And um, what would you tell the Protestant friends now, like a bit about what is so beautiful about the Catholic faith? Oh, that we have so many blessings, and we not only have our Lord God in heaven, but we also have the Holy Mother to pray for us and pray for our families. It's just, we have the rosary for the Holy Mother. It's everything. It's, and it's every day. It's just not on Sundays for the Protestants. It's every day. Every day. You can say the go, say the go to Mass every single day, anywhere in the world. Yeah. That is the best thing about being a Catholic. You can receive Christ truly. Yes, we can receive Holy Communion, the body and blood of Christ every single day. Every and you day. believe that now, no? Oh, you, you, I, you, I believed it before. Before, no? As I can see that because you, you have it already I, in I, you. you know, I, it believed it be, I believed it before, Yeah. but I believe it even more now. Now where I where I want to go every day now it's just not on Saturday at 4 or Sunday at 8 10 or 12 it's every day every day every day and that, I learned that from you because it's true the Protestant we, we, I went to the mega church in near Frankfurt on Sunday and you had a prayer meeting a group maybe on Thursday but he can go every, every day, day and receive the body Jesus. and blood of Christ. And that's the most intimate relationship. And that's what the Protestants yearn for, this intimate personal relationship with the living God of Israel and nations. That's what they always talk about. And they find it ultimately in the Catholic faith. And they find that living relationship as well. Now the Catholic Catholics are catching up a bit with the charismatic field and, you know, worship. I, I feel... Um, <clears throat> I feel a sadness mm. for the for the Protestants. Why? That 
that they don't receive the body and blood of Christ every day when they can. He's here. And they don't know it they because know. he's here. Yeah. And they block it off through brainwashing by pastors, I would say. Or I don't know who installed all this way of thinking yeah. that we are praying to a goddess. Our Lady is not a goddess. But if the land is holy, holy land, the, mo the mother of God where Jesus was inside for nine months must be holy. Yeah? Oh, yes. Yeah. That's maybe the way to explain it to them. And we don't. She intercedes for us. It's written in the Bible, intercession. Protestant friends love to be prayed for, or they pray for me. I loved it. It was beautiful. And we need to read the Bible every day. Yes. We need to meditate every day. And that is not, that is not preached in the Protestant yeah. faith mm -hmm. at all. Huh? Interesting. Uh -huh. Not when I was yeah. born anyway. Yeah. But it is, it is in Catholic faith. That's what Our Lady said. Read the Bible. Maybe Read the Bible. can connect with that. Read Scriptura. Read. Not yeah. only Scriptura, we also have tradition. Read the Bible. Meditate on what you've read. Yeah. And spend your own personal time with the Holy Father. Every day. Yes. Beautiful. What can I say? Thank you for that beautiful interview. Thank you.